Across many sports, the advice is given to athletes to not spend too much time in the gym or lifting weights, as this can make them inflexible and muscle-bound. Is that true? Does lifting really make you inflexible? Welcome back. Dr. Milo Wolf here today with you. PhD in sports science. Gotten a bit more jacked, and yet still just as flexible. But from a scientific perspective, is there any truth to the idea that lifting will make you less flexible? The only flexibility I care about is how much I can flex. Is the, only the common advice given to athletes in their sports is to do some static stretching to make sure that they stay flexible. And indeed, static stretching or passive stretching does seem to make you more flexible. A meta-analysis by Conrad and colleagues from 2023 found that static stretching did increase flexibility by a moderate effect size. And in fact, it appeared that static stretching might be slightly more beneficial for improving flexibility compared to dynamic or ballistic stretching. As an additional finding, it seems that women tend to benefit more from static stretching training in terms of flexibility than men. Now, hey, you saying, that's all well and cool, Dr. Myla Wolf. I didn't need a PhD for you to tell me that Static stretching makes you more flexible. Everyone already knew that. However, where my PhD does actually help me is that I'm aware of a couple of papers that compared stretching to lifting weights and how that impacts flexibility. These two recent meta-analyses looked at around a dozen studies and found similar improvements in flexibility when lifting weights versus when doing static stretching, suggesting that lifting is about as good at increasing your flexibility as stretching. Now, if you look closely at the results, you may find that stretching does increase flexibility to a slightly greater extent than lifting weights, but it's a minor effect at best. And now that the science part of the video is done, let me tell you about the real evidence and that is my N equals one anecdote. While I've been lifting, I've gotten more flexible over time. My squat depth has improved. My deadlift depth, my, my ability to protract my shoulder blades, all of the movement patterns that I've trained in the gym have gotten more flexible. I've become able to go through a greater range of motion at the joints that I train, through the ranges of motion that I trained through. When I first started lifting, for example, I struggled to squat to depth. Now I can squat to substantially below power lifting depth and I can get deeper than the vast majority of beginners who are first setting foot in the gym. But that wasn't always the case and lifting weights has certainly made me more flexible. You want proof? Here's proof, you nerd. And with that being said, my training has consisted of mostly full range of motion training and more recently, length and partials. Always bringing it back to length and partials. Now, that is in the context of me lifting with a pretty full range of motion. When you're lifting within these studies, compared to doing stretching, it seems to induce similar improvements in flexibility. That was also my experience, that I've gotten more flexible as I've kept lifting weights. So if anything, the opposite of what a lot of coaches are saying. But what about if you don't lift with a full range of motion? If you don't lift with a full range of motion, do you actually become less flexible over time? Well, one sport where you don't typically go through a full range of motion, and that involves lifting weights, is powerlifting. In powerlifting, when it comes to the squat, for example, or even more so the bench, your range of motion isn't full. You could go deeper, but typically you're incentivized to minimize range of motion within the legal specifications of the sport to lift more weight. And specifically in the bench press, many powerlifters use a lot of arching in order to lift more weight. This isn't a value judgment. They, they should be doing this if their aim is to lift as much weight as possible, but it is the case. With one exception being the IPF recently instating a rule on how deep lifters have to take the bench press. But by and large, powerlifting remains a partial range of motion sport in a way. And well, we have a few studies in powerlifting athletes looking at their flexibility compared to people who don't lift weights. And broadly speaking, the findings are that powerlifters have similar, if not greater, flexibility in their lower body. So for example, squat depth, flexibility in their hamstrings, etc., and slightly worse flexibility when it comes to their upper body. And to me, this makes sense. Powerlifters focus only on one upper body exercise, and that is bench press. That is a very limited amount of exercise selection to be training with. And secondly, as I mentioned earlier, the bench press is probably the one exercise where they go through the least range of motion 
compared to what a full range of motion is. At the very least, when these studies were performed, comparing flexibility of powerlifters to non-lifters, the bench press rule wasn't in place yet. So most powerlifters would be benching with a partial range of motion. So my suspicion is that the lack of shoulder range of motion in powerlifters compared to non-lifters has to do with a narrow exercise selection and a pretty sub-maximal range of motion being gone through in the bench press. And importantly, to kind of support that idea of lifting not inherently being bad for shoulder range of motion, there are a couple of studies by Kolber and colleagues and Morton and colleagues that reported improvements in shoulder range of motion from going through a lifting program, but in that case, they were using more complete programs. They were not just benching. And often, bench was a relatively small part of the program. So it may be that using a sufficient amount of different exercises in your program and going through a relatively long, if not full range of motion, is important when it comes to improving your flexibility. But on principle, lifting weights does likely make you more flexible. I think that if you do bodybuilding style training with a variety of exercises and the full range of motion or even length and partials, there's a very good chance that you'll become more flexible, at least when you first start lifting. I'm not sure you'd see substantial improvements in flexibility once you've been lifting for a few years and you keep lifting, but you will likely get more flexible from lifting in general. So myth busted. By and large, lifting weights does not make you any less flexible. If you're an athlete and you're currently lifting, don't be afraid to lift because it might make you less flexible. It won't. And in general, there are plenty of good reasons to lift if you're also an athlete. And when it comes to people who are lifters, I don't think most of you need to worry about stretching in addition to your lifting. If you want me to make a full video on stretching and lifting, whether you need to be increasing your flexibility, for example, if you're a lifter or if you're just training for muscle building, leave a comment down below and I'll get to it. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, letting me know what else you want to see me cover. If you'd like me to coach you, check out the link above and I could be your coach. In the meantime, have a great day and I will see you in that next one. Peace.